show is brought to you by Da Vinci Performance Carburetor, Pile Brothers Performance Differential, Joey's Crams Mission, Houston Engine and Balancing, AirmasterDrumPunk.com, and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racer. American Bracket Racer. We're coming from Houston Motorsports Park here in Houston, Texas. Um, we're doing some 7-0 index racing tonight. Uh, this will be a new track that I've never featured before on the show. So I'm uh, excited to bring all this and hopefully do, do good and go some rounds. But uh, they got the 580 index tonight, the 7-0 index, 
they got small tire shootout and they got some outlaw classes and motorcycles and all that fun stuff so should be a cool race and uh, we're going into first round right now but um, my only time trial I got I won a 706 and uh, had a pretty bad light but um, I'm hoping to straighten that out right here I'd like to be uh, somewhere around four, uh, uh, 50 on the tree on a 4 tenths pro tree but um, on that 706 I had uh, nine and a quarter turns in the uh, throttle stop which it's a hard stop but uh, I took it down to about eight and a half turns so that should put me I'm thinking somewhere around the 70 to 697 so uh, let's get it done hope everything works out we get this win just got back from first round I got the win I was uh, 083 on the tree and uh, my opponent fell off I don't know if he spun real bad or what but I sped the car up so let me see what I think it was gonna run I uh, from that 706 with the three I was uh, six felt fast in the 60 foot and exactly four hundredths fast at the uh, 330 so that probably increased as I went down the track so probably gonna be right on the 70 so I might take a little bit more turns out and make it go a little faster that way uh, I'll be breaking out and my uh, I'm not uh, cutting really great reaction time so I might have to take a bump in anyway if I bump it in two or three inches that should shave off about 30 off my light and then I should tag it better as the rounds go on I'm getting a little more pumped up and We'll see, uh, going to the second round of 70 index next. All right, here we go with second round of 70 index. Uh, I'll be in the right lane, running a uh, little S10 pickup truck over here. Competition's getting cut in half, so everybody who won first rounds, I'm sure, pretty close to their number. And uh, I'll have to step it up. I'm, uh, I raised my launch RPM up from 34 to 3800. And I'm going to take a little bit of a bump in there, probably about three inches in the, in the beam. So that should knock me down 30, and the launch should probably pick me up 10 or 15. So uh, I was 80-something that last round, so that should put me around a 30, I'm hoping, in theory. And um, in order to counteract the uh, bump in, I, I took a half a turn out of the throttle stop. So I was I showed to be going probably about a 7 flat last round. So the bump's probably going to slow me down uh, two to three, and um, the launch will pick me up some, probably one or two, and then the uh, blade will pick me up a little bit more. So I'm thinking I'll probably be on about a 697-ish, somewhere around there. So I'll need to kill it somewhat, but if it's even wheel to wheel the whole way down there and I don't have any room to kill it, I'm just going to dump it uh, just past the finish line pretty good. But if I got a, a car link three quarters or more on them I'm gonna try to cut them in and pedal it so I know something a lot more I have track but I hope to get the win and I'll give you the details when we get back to the trailer
good round for me right there. It looked real tight. I uh, took 20,000 stripe down there, um, killing it quite a bit. Um, so, uh, looks like I was probably on about a, like I said, I, what I think would be in a, about a, 90, a 97 to a 98. I was 12 on the tree, which is killer. I took a nice little bump in there, so that helped me out a lot. Raised the launch RPM, and uh, I go a 702 with a zero on the seven flat index. And I killed about four miles an hour, but um, I don't know what my opponent was because they only give me half a slip here. This index racing, it's kind of like a street racing deal where they, no time, pro tree, all that stuff. So don't matter. We got the win, Bubba. It was a good round. Looked good. Felt good. So we'll go into third round. All right, here we go. Third round of 7 0 index. I'm back in the right lane. I'm running the champ out here, Dad Patton. He's a belt holder right now. They, they give a championship belt for the uh, person who's won the most out here. So uh, I'll, I'll need to step up my game real real tight. I'll take another 12 light and, and go in two, two to three under. So uh, my strategy is the same thing as last round. Take a bump, nail the tree, and kill, kill about two or three numbers down there, probably about two and a half. But uh, like I said, uh, Derek's the belt holder out here, and uh, there's a bounty on him, so if I beat him here, I'll get a $200 extra bounty. So uh, let's get it done. It's going to be a tight race down there. So that's a big deal. I got the 200 uh, 200 bounty on, on Derek there. He ain't no easy run, man. He's been winning out here every time, and uh, I got by him. I got lucky. I was 028 on the tree, and go 701 with the two on the seven flat. Um, looks like I killed about four miles, four and a half miles an hour. But uh, Derek didn't look like he was gonna catch me. Um, he started to pull on me right at the last minute there, but uh, he, he could tell I was going to get there and he jammed the brakes and let me have it. Which I didn't know that I can't see a wind light down there, so I thought I might have broke out. Because he fed me a lot of strike. But uh, hell, it don't matter, I got the wind. And uh, we'll go into the finals, I'll take my buy run, I probably won't even run the buy run. And uh, go to the finals, man. Fun, 7-0 index, we don't do a lot of it, but I'm going to start probably doing a lot of it. And, it pays a lot of money and there's a big crowd here watching all the outlaw cars and it's real exciting and it's a great track so uh let's do it i'll give you the details on the next round coming up all right here we go uh semi-finals of the 70 index i've uh got the buy run to the final so i'm not going to risk breaking any parts or doing something stupid i'm just gonna take the beam and put through so it'll be uh pretty anticlimactic but uh, we're going to the finals baby Let's get it done.
on that one. It wasn't nothing special, but uh, like I said, I didn't want to tear nothing up because we already got to go to the finals. And uh, hopefully, I think if, if, if I can win this final round here, might have a shot at the belt uh, running Derek again. Uh, so if you, if you win a race, you get a chance at the belt. So uh, we'll see how it goes. If I can win this final round, I don't want to talk about it too soon, but we win this one coming up. And uh, I think he's going to hang around and uh, run me possibly for the, for the championship belt. So that'd be pretty cool to win this race and then uh, have a chance at the belt. But uh, all in all, it's been a great night so far. Hopefully we'll get a good split in the final round and go from there. All right, here we go. Final round of the 7-0 index. I'll be in the right lane again. And uh, everything should be the same. I'm shooting for 20 or better light. Take the same amount of bump, probably somewhere around two or three inches in there. And uh, nail the tree. And uh, the last couple of runs I've made, I've been on about a, a 697 and a half to a 698. So I'll need to go down there and give it some some rips on the gas to, to make sure I'm, I'm uh, covering the dial. So the, the two runners right there. But uh, my opponent's been doing a good job tonight. He's got an old gasser, a real cool car. Looks like a nostalgia 1950s or something. So uh, really cool to see that and him doing good. But um, let's get it done, man. Uh, if everything goes good, if I'm 20 on the tree and run the number, uh, I'm hoping that's good enough. If not, oh well, he did, he did his job. Drumpuck.com and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racing.